We're here. Cathedral of Florence. Delizioso. Bella Italia Bistro. Fantastic. Hello again. It's 11.16. We are at the, not the airport, the train station. We're having McDonald's. <laughs> it's becoming a tradition for us. When we go to a foreign country, we get McDonald's once because it's just, I don't know. It's just a fun thing that we like to do. Oh, hang on. It is me again, but hello and welcome. We're going to Florence. <laughs> We're going to Florence. Um, our train leaves in about 45 minutes. We're here. We're really happy with the room. First of all, it's so cute. And second of all, the beds are so much more comfortable than the ones in Rome. The ones in Rome were, to me, like almost like sleeping on a rock. Um, now the hotel was fantastic and we loved it and we would go back 100%. Um, but these beds are much more comfortable. <laughs> um, so anyway, we've chilled out a little bit and changed clothes and we're gonna go for a walk over to look at the cathedral in the sunshine because it's not gonna be sunny when we actually go see it. Um, and then we're gonna get dinner out somewhere. So anyway, I will bring you along. So here's just part of the cathedral. It's massive. So this is just part of it. Um, it's a pedestrian area with also um, horses and buggies. So we'll try to get as much of a view of it as possible. We are gonna go in it, not today though, but we wanted to come look at it on the outside because it's probably gonna be raining when we do come to go in it. So this is the um, Cathedral of Florence. massive absolutely massive i can't express to you just how humongous it is because it keeps going back there and look how little the people are and it's gigantic so if i remember correctly and i could be wrong but it was originally built and designed um in the gothic era of like architecture and design and everything So this is the main building, I assume. So this is with my lens. Zoomed out. So this is the same cathedral that I was showing you from the front a minute ago, and this is just the side. I mean, it's absolutely massive. I mean, look, massive, massive, humongous. So here's a little bit of the back side. They must be maybe doing some construction, obviously, over there. Cute little row of shops here on the side. Some cafes. Another thing that's cool is that there's loud music in some places. So, like I said, we'll go back and look at that. Um, I think tomorrow. So we're out to eat at a restaurant, an outside restaurant, which I love. And I'm filming a Facebook video, but I just wanted to say... Um, so far, Italian food would get a 10 out of 10. I haven't eaten anything so far that I wouldn't give a 10 out of 10 and that I didn't think was really delicious and fantastic. So, anyway. 
it's not how you say it. Delizzoso. But we like to say delice because that's the name of our little pastries, pastries that we like. The Debbie. The Debbie. Competitor. Yes. <laughs> the Italian Debbie competitor. Good morning, everybody. It's 9.21. Um, we've been down to breakfast. We've chilled in the room a while. I just got myself ready. Mostly, I'm going to decide what to do about my hair. So, I think I showed you a little clip of dinner last night. It was great. Um, then we came back to the hotel and chilled a while, and I went to sleep early. So, today's plan is to go inside the cathedral. There's a place where you can climb up steps to the very top and it's like 400 and something steps. There's no elevator um, and it's like a one way at a time kind of thing. Like the, you can't have two people walking side by side at the same time. So, you know, there'd be a line and um, everything so I'm not gonna be doing that um, it's just that's just too many steps for my legs but my brother's gonna do that and he'll um, get a clip or two from the top and so I'll show you that when it's time so we're gonna go in the cathedral he's gonna climb up it um, and I'm gonna just chill out somewhere and then what else are we doing today we're gonna go to a, a museum art yes museum. an art museum it's in a medieval uh, prison. So that'll be really cool and interesting to see. So who knows what else we'll get up to, but I'll keep you posted. In the second half of the 13th century, the city of Florence decided to build a palace to ensure effective protection for the magistrates, the people that made the rules and in charge of enforcing them. Uh, so they began building it in 1299, uh, and then it was completed, and this says in 1314, Roman, the ancient Roman underground parts were used as uh, prisons, and then there were multiple expansions of this over time. For a while, it was the home of Cosimo de Medici, the first Grand Duke of Tuscany. And Florence took over the whole region. Can go inside? Yay. Great. So there's a copy of David. I guess there he is. Right there. It's not the original David. That's in a different museum nearby. So we'll go over and look at this um, copy of David, and then we can go see the original statue of David tomorrow. So you can pause this and read it if you'd like. Uh, the ceiling decoration is a visual map of Tuscany aimed at glorifying Duke Cosimo I, who appears in Apotheosis and the Tondo in the middle. The central band depicts key episodes in the history of Florence, such as the foundation of Florentia in Roman times and the extension of city walls. So you can pause that and read that if you'd like, and then I will try to, I don't think I can get the whole ceiling in one frame, but. Did 
da bussare oppure no, 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 no. Eh? no. non c'è più una serpettina per fermare la porta ah, ma la che la puoi chiudere ok la prendi again you can pause to read So it's, it's really interesting how all the ceilings in here tell the story. Check out these tapestries. Check this out, this is interesting. It's like a little faucet, circa 1470. Florentine Lily. So that was really neat. That wasn't the museum we originally intended to go to, but a happy accident. So we really enjoyed that. All right, now we're gonna find some more to eat lunch before we go over to the cathedral. Another interesting trend that we've noticed here in Italy, in Florence and Rome at least, is this is what they released a severe rain warning for. I bet you can't even see the rain on camera. So that's just interesting. It makes me wonder if maybe they don't get a lot of rain. Um, but like the other day when it rained, they released a severe rain warning and it rained less than half an inch over like a total of 12 hours. So that's just interesting. All right guys, we're having lunch. We are at Bella Italia Bistro, Ristorante Osteria. Um, and I realized I've only been filming the restaurants for Facebook so far, so I thought you guys would like to see what it's like. Uh, there's seating outside as well, but it's kind of chilly and it's raining, so we're not gonna sit out there. This is cute. If you'd like to read the menu, you can pause at any time. Oh, this is neat. I'll definitely be looking at that. Listen to this cover of a Katy Perry song. I love it. Uh, just realized that we've only got two full days left here. Including today. Including is... today. It's gone by so fast. I got some bread, bowl of vinegar, and cheese, which is, I just assume it's probably not. Well, I got my Coke and some water. So fun fact, I can't remember if we talked about this, but all Anytime you go somewhere and you want water, it's always bottled. That's just a thing here. The tap water is perfectly safe to drink. And we have had some at our hotels. All right, I got tortelli al ragu. And this is um, caprese. Di buffalo. Di buffalo. Insalata. Pasta with... Capardella. Yes. Wild boar. Wild, wild boar. Mmm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Mmm, excellent. That cheese is so good. Oh, it's fantastic. Best caprese I've ever had for sure. That's delicious. 
really tasty. I really like the tomato flavor. It's like the flavor of tomato really comes through and it's really good. I wish I knew the right words to describe. I need to improve my food vocabulary, but it's like the pasta is so soft, which I love. Obviously, this is the one I've torn a piece from, but it's, it looks kind of like, a it's ravioli. called, yeah, it's called tortelli, but it's like ravioli. And it's not stuffed though. Yeah, there's, there's. Oh, it is stuffed. So we've been really enjoying this music. It's a little chill vibe covers and I think it's on um, YouTube. We really liked it. We had a great experience here. Would recommend. Here we are back at the cathedral and yesterday I was saying wow it's massive. It's definitely bigger than the other one. La la la. It's actually not. The one we saw in Rome was the biggest church in the world by inside measurements. So this one's smaller. It just is much more like visually impressive i guess from the outside all right we waited in a really long line and just got through security and now we're here so compared to the outside which was very ornate and like paintings everywhere and everything it's kind of simple in here which i like Some beautiful floors It's extremely cold. We just waited in a cold, rainy line for like 30 minutes. I really like the style of floors like this that are yeah. geometric, geometric marbly. All right, as you can see, I'm back in the hotel. We were in kind of a rush because he had a timed entry to climb the Duomo, which is, um, just up to the highest part of the dome. And as I was telling you, I think this morning there's like 460 steps or something like that. So I chose not to do that. And originally I was gonna stay and hang out and watch stuff, but I needed to come back to our hotel room to use the bathroom. Which, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things to deal with. So I'm gonna use this time to rest and relax a little bit and then after he comes back, we're going to check out a local supermarket. If you watched our um, previous video from Rome, you know that we really enjoyed the little supermarket in Rome. So we're gonna, we've got a few close by. We're gonna um, see if we can find one we like, and then we're gonna just get a little something and have our um, dinner in the room. The Delice, have I talked to you about those? They're Kinder brand Delice. I don't know. They're like little Debbies, but obviously not that brand. And they're like little like cakes. They're so good. Maybe I'll have one this evening and show it to you. Um, but I mean incredible. So we're hoping to find some more of those. And that way I can bring a pack of those home too. So anyway, that's our plan for the rest of the evening.
I don't think it's as far as the second part of it. Yes. Hello there. We are out and looking for a specific gelato place. Okay, there's so many good options. You can, we can try. We can try? Oh, fantastic. Okay, I would love to try some. So I tried multiple flavors and I chose the tiramisu. It's fantastic. Delicious, seriously. Cream flavor, chocolate flavor, coffee flavor, so good. Love it. So that was delicious. One of the things we specifically wanted to do was try some authentic Italian gelato, and we did, and it was fantastic. How does it compare to ice cream in America? Um, he just asked how it compares to ice cream in America. Um, it's very, very similar in experience. Um, gelato, that's like proper gelato in Italy is stored kind of low in these little freezer things, um, covered. And you should look for that plus not bright colors. They kind of have a, like more of a dull color to them and, um, yeah. And it's denser and kept, I mean, it's still like freezing cold, but um, stored a little bit warmer than ice cream. Anyway, fantastic, loved it. Now we're looking for a supermarket. Oh, the whole time, the whole time I had ice cream. So I showed you those clips that he made from his trip up the Duomo, and there is where he was, way up there. I've decided that this is maybe my favorite thing. Just walking down the streets, looking at everything, being in the fresh air, looking at the shops and the people and everything. All right, we are back in the room for the evening. There's some construction going on nearby and it's a little bit annoying, but it'll stop eventually. We're tired. He climbed like 500 steps today and I'm just tired because I'm me. <laughs> and so we went to the supermarket, supermercato, and got some little snacks. We're just going to have a chill evening in. <coughs> a chill evening in. And I'll be going to the better league. So tomorrow, we're definitely going to go to the museum to see the original David. Um, other than that, we don't have any super concrete plans. Hey, David. We're going to say, hey, David. <laughs> we'll see what we get up to tomorrow.